Hey everybody, Dr. Sanderson here. Welcome to Unit 14, which is really our last unit in the course. So thanks for all your great work uh, this semester. And in this unit we're going to look at, we're going to continue with our discussion on social media use in the workplace. So in Unit 13, we looked a lot at um, how organizations use social media to filter applicants and use it as part of the job screening process. And now we're going to look at it in terms of current employees or employees who are already within the organization. So if you think about just policies in general, for those of you who have worked, um, you probably have had to read policies. The employer you know, has a policy on attendance. They have a policy on grooming. They have a policy on uh, you know, how long your breaks are. They have a policy on sexual harassment. So uh, you know, all those things the employer does to guide employee behavior or conduct. And, so it's not a real surprise to see that social media is now um, part of the, the employer's policies. So um, now, with that said, there are concerns about uh, social media policies in the sense that, well, why does the employer need to know what I'm doing on social media and that's my own business? And there's clearly arguments that can be made there, um, you know, in terms of privacy and, and surveillance and does the organization really need to have that kind of reach? Um, on the flip side, you know, the organization is going to turn around and say, well, uh, you know, you represent us even when you're off the clock. So we need to be aware of how your actions can affect our reputation. And that's kind of where the policy comes from. So with social media policies, you see a good deal of variation. So some employers have actually very strict social media policies. Other employers, you know, they're very basic in general. Um, you know, pay attention to things like terminology in social media policies. So, for example, some employers will just use the term uh, inappropriate content, you know, don't post inappropriate content. And, you know, OK, that's brief and that's basic. But um, who decides what's inappropriate? Well, the employer does. So that gives the employer a lot more latitude in determining what they see uh, on social media as being inappropriate. So. Uh, you know, keep an eye on that. Uh, also think about, you know, how do you how do you verify or how do you prove that an employee was told of the policy? Um, so think about things like having employees, you know, why employees would need to sign that they've read a policy. Um, policies also deal with consequences. So as we've talked about, if you look at, if you Google, uh, you know, employee fired for Facebook, employee fired for Snapchat, you'll get a lot of stories. So uh, policy, part, another, another part of the policy then is that they need to uh, you know, indicate what the consequences are for violating the policy, which can include termination of employment. So, you know, a lot going on here with policies, um, you know, keep, as we learned in the last unit, right now, employers have a lot of the, the power right now, and that's very true with policies. So, um, you know, just kind of, you know, keep an eye on where this is headed in the future in terms of how is the law catching up with what employers can do or telling them they can't do on social media. So for this unit, you're going to have a discussion forum where I'm going to ask you to kind of think about, you know, if you were asked to write a social media policy, what are some things that you would put in there and how, how would you kind of, you know, what, what are some choices you would make in, in creating that document for an employer? And then, um, Really, the, the only other thing you need to be kind of mindful of is your final project is coming due on May 2nd. And remember here, what you're doing is that, that final project milestone number three. And so within that, what you're doing is you're selecting two platforms that you think your client organization will benefit from. So you might, you know, that might be Facebook and Twitter, it might be Instagram and Snapchat. You're going to pick two platforms for them to use and then give them content ideas on how they can use that. And you really need to make sure you're specific there. So, you know, don't just tell the client, well, you should use behind the scenes content. The client may not have any idea what that means. So what you need to do is give the client examples of what behind the scenes content looks like for them. So, you know, make sure that, um, you know, hey, that would be showing an employee, you know, making this thing uh, before it goes out to be sold or showing, uh, you know, maybe we're going to buy a drone and we're going to, you know, show footage of the golf course or those sorts of things. So whatever content you tell them to put to, to do on the platforms, you need to give them examples of what that content would look like. So um, that's the first part of it. 
Second part of it is um, you're going to look for examples that they can learn from. So find a company that did something good on social media that they can learn from, a company that did something bad on social media that the client can learn from. And then you're going to talk to them about feedback. So how should they handle positive and negative feedback? What should they do when someone says a good thing about their place of business? What should they do when someone complains? Um, and, you know, we've talked about different strategies for that over the course of, of the semester. And then lastly, you'll just need to give them some kind of next steps. So you're going to talk about, well, how can continual use of social media benefit them? How can they measure success? What does success look like for them? So here you might go back to our unit on metrics. Uh, what kind of metrics and analytics should the client be paying attention to? And then what are some, what are a couple things they can do to implement the plan you've given them? So do they need to hire somebody? Do they need to go get a consultant? Do they need to find an intern? Find someone within the company already who knows social media that can start, you know, doing that as part of their job. Do they need to get a content calendar and start planning out content? So, you know, just as a consultant, that's what you do. You go in and give someone a plan, but you got to tell them, hey, here's a couple things you can do to, you know, get that get that plan underway. So, um, again, that'll be due by uh, May 2nd at 11.59 p.m. And I look forward to seeing what you come up with there.